know my favorite kindergartners. It is Mrs. Shivani from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. How are you guys doing today? Well, it is kind of a rainy day here, so I'm cozied up, and I hope that you are cozied up as well. Um, today, we are going to work on counting um, numbers one through 10, and then putting them, matching them up with a dot card and matching them with their correct number. So this is a game that I think you guys will have a lot of fun with, and it should be quick, and um, we should have a lot of fun. I think. All right, so let's get started. Let me share my screen with you. And we will work on module one, lesson 33. Three tens and three ones, 33. So our goal today is to order quantities from 10 to 1 and match numbers. This will be a good one, and we'll work on number identification too. All right, let's quick start off with sunrise counting and sunset counting, okay? So start off small, 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 and let's count all the way to 10, and then we'll sunset back down, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Oh, it's nice to stretch. Okay, now stay up big and sunset. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good work. All right, let's get into our application problem today, which is about some biscuits. I like biscuits. Margaret baked biscuits for dinner. Some, while they were cooling, her kitten jumped on the table and took one away. Oh, no. Draw the tray to show how many biscuits Margaret can serve for dinner. Don't forget to cross off the one that the kitten took. Okay, so Margaret baked some biscuits for dinner. While they were cooling, her kitten jumped off onto the table and ate one of them. So let's get out our pen, and here's her biscuits. Let's cross off one to show which one the kitten ate. We'll cross off this one. That's the one that the kitten came up and ate on us. So now she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She has nine total biscuits now. That's still a lot of biscuits. That looks yummy. Okay, let's move on to our concept development now. Okay, so I put one blue cube in each place on the top row, and then I put um, one red cube on each place in the bottom row. How many blue cubes do I have, Bert? Yeah, five. And how many red cubes do I have, Bert? Five. I have the same number of red cubes as blue cubes. Five and five equals ten. Okay, now, find the dot card down here that shows how many cubes are on yeah, it's right here. Now, what do you notice? It looks the same, right? Five on top, five on the bottom, five on top, five on the bottom. Okay, now let's take off this last red cube and we'll kind of throw that one away too. Now, let's find the ca card that shows how many cubes are on the map. Hmm, where is it? It's not that one. We have five on top, four on the bottom. Five on top, four on the bottom. Yup, yup, yup. There we go. Does it look the same as our mat? <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay, let's take another one off. Hmm. We need five on top, three on the bottom. Five on top, three on the bottom. Oh, I see it. It's up here right underneath my video. Five on top, three on the bottom. It matches, and that's eight. Okay, let's take one more off. Now we have Seven. Okay, let's find seven. Here it is. Five on top, two on the bottom. That is seven. Okay, bye-bye, seven car. Let's take one off. Now we have six. 
Let's find six. There we go, five on top, one on the bottom. Nice, let's take six off now. And now we have five, there's five, good work. Let's take off one more now. Now we have four, let's find four. Match, all right, let's get rid of that one. Take one off, now we have three. Let's take one off. Now we have two. Take one off. Now we have one. Now we don't want have any left. Oh, man. All right, let's look at this one. Okay, what do you notice about this row of cards? Well, it looks, this last one, shows me how many I have on my mat here. And I also notice that it starts at 10, and I think it's counting down, right? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, it's counting down just like we did when we sunset. Mm-hmm. It is counting down. And now this is, now my mat is empty. And that shows zero on my map. But this is counting down from 10 to 1. Okay, let's play mix and fix. Our cards are all mixed up. Let's fix them and put them back in a row. But instead of counting up, we're going to count down. So let's start with 10. What number do I need next if I'm counting down? 9. Now I need 8. Now I need seven. Now I need six. Good, count with me. Now I need five, four, three. I hope you're counting with me. Two, whoa, two and one. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one nice work. Okay, now I want you guys to be number detectives. When I point to a number on the number path, I want you to help me find the dot card that matches it and we'll put it in the box. We'll do this just two times, okay? All right, so let's see. Here is the number seven. Which number shows me five on top and two on the bottom? Five on top and two on the bottom would be seven. Is it this one? No, that's one. Is it this one? No, that's five. Is it this one? Five on top, two on the bottom. Five, six, seven. That is my seven. That's a match. Good. Okay, now show me the dot card that matches a Four. That's kind of a fancy four, but that's okay. Is it this one? No, that's only two. That's not enough. Is it this one? No, that's five and one. That's not enough. Is it this one? One, two, three, four. Yes, it is that one. Good work. All right, let me show you your problem set today, but you will get you will get to show me what you've learned. That's one reason why I love these problem sets and your exit tickets is because it shows me what you've learned from the lesson. And that's really important to me as a teacher, to know what you're taking away and what you're learning. So here, you're going to count the number, and, or count the number of snails and choose how many. Count the number of turtles, choose how many. Count the number of other turtles here, choose how many. Count the number of fish and choose how many. So today, we counted objects and we uh, matched them up with their matching number. We counted dots and we matched them up with their correct number. This is always a fun game to play. Good work. If you have um, uh, some different tools you can count at home, if you have number cards, you can make sets of objects and then match them up with a number at your house if you would like to try that. That could be really fun. Thank you so much for counting with me to, um, today. Tomorrow, we're going to count, start counting down 
and instead of counting the one more way, we're gonna count the one less way. So we'll work on that in our next math lesson. Thank you so much for your hard work. Adios.